the Duke and Duchess of Sussex will welcome their first child in spring 2019. They announced their happy news nearly six months after they tied the knot in a spectacular wedding ceremony at St. George's Chapel in the grounds of Windsor Castle. The couple shared their news on the first day of their first overseas tour in Australia on October 15. After Meghan gives birth, the Queen will be the first person to be told a new child has been born into the royal family. Prince William reportedly phoned Her Majesty on an encrypted phone after his first son Prince George was born. After Her Majesty has time to revel in the exciting news, there will then be an announcement publicly and to other members of the new parents' family. This announcement has always traditionally been on an easel outside Buckingham Palace. But the rise in social media over the last few years has meant other methods of digital communication are now used to share important news. William and Kate made full use of the digital era by announcing the birth of Prince George on Twitter. Another royal birthing tradition is home births, which was followed by the Queen when she gave birth to her children in Buckingham Palace. But this tradition has been broken since then, as Princess Diana gave birth to her sons Harry and William in the Lindo Wing of St. Mary's Hospital. Kate also gave birth to her three children in the same private wing of the hospital. The Duchess of Cambridge had three midwives during the birth of her second child, Princess Charlotte. Meghan is also likely to give birth in the Linda Wing, although Prince Harry may be banned though. Traditionally, fathers are not meant to be in the delivery room. But this room seems to have changed after Prince Charles was born, as William was allowed into the delivery room while Kate was giving birth.